So hello guys, welcome to another episode of how to make Ford Mustang. And today basically what we're gonna do, we finally gonna press finish form and then we are going to make some headlights and the tail lights. So before we press finish form, uh, we need to create a couple more bodies for this car. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, I've noticed that this model have have small like kind of kind of, how can we say it like bump right here so let's get rid of that okay i hope it's going to be good okay so now what we have to do let's make all this straight what we have right here so i'm just going to delete a couple lines i'm gonna delete this one and then I'm gonna select shift, double click, delete this one and same from the top. So I'm gonna select that, shift, double click, delete. Okay, now, now we need to make everything straight. So we enter edit form and from the top view we click right here and press zero. Maybe we'll go slightly inside, okay. Okay, now these parts are straight. Let's straighten this. Edit form. Click right here and press zero. Okay, now let's let's make this one. So I'll shift, I select multiple lines. Click right here, press zero. Okay, so now we have kind of perfect square. Let's insert one more edge. I double click right here, modify, insert edge and let's put it somewhere over here, okay? Let's see in regular view. So I press Control on Mac, Control 3. Let's switch off analysis. Okay, so that's pretty much what we are looking for. And then Control 1, I select from here. I hold Shift, double click this, Command C. So I'm copying and Command V, I'm pasting, yeah? Then from the top view, we are going to move this slightly away. So let's say somewhere like this. Maybe we can do it closer. Yeah, like that would be perfect. Just slightly away. Great. Now we can switch off this body and then we select, uh, we press OK and then we enter edit form. We select like the whole perimeter of the headlight. I press Alt. I move it, let's say 75 inch, I press Alt, I move it a little bit more. And then I hit OK. So let's see how this body looks in regular mode. So Control 3 and we switch on our body also. So that's what we have. Let's on the body also regular mode. OK, this is slightly bigger, bigger. so I double click, edit form and I just make it slightly smaller like that. Let's move it inside, like that. Okay. So let's try to increase these edges. Let's switch on back the battery on. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Then I hit, okay. So yes, that's exactly what we're looking for. Then we choose symmetry, mirror duplicate what we're going to duplicate this body with this you see over there i'm pressing let me zoom in i'm pressing on this plane just like that on the other side okay that looks good to me okay i like the way it goes then i press finish form and voila we have uh, like uh, plenty faces let's call it that way yeah so this we can leave it as it is let's go to the front so what we're going to do with the front we are going here you see there is a solid surface mesh sheet metal tools so we're choosing surface so now we are in surface environment yeah let's create a sketch it's asking on which plane so basically on this plane now we're going to switch on our canvas so we need front okay I see a little bit offset our circle, but that's not a problem. 
So we're creating a circle somewhere over here. Let's say that big. You can hide the body, double click on the circle, press M to move. Then you can get your body back and just adjust it the way you want it to be. So, okay, I want it to be right here. I click OK. And then we press Finish Sketch. So now from Modified drop down menu, we're gonna choose Split Face. Which face? This, 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 and this face. Splitting tool will be our circle. So you see it's kind of extending all the way through the car. So extend splitting. We I hope it's not cutting from the back also the same. No, it cannot be because the faces on the other side are not selected. So we hit OK. Let's switch off canvases. So now what we have, we have extra faces. So let's try to delete this face. I press delete, then I click here, I press delete. Then let me zoom in. Then I click here and I press delete again. So now we have the cutouts for our wonderful lamps. Now, so we're gonna turn our sketches back on, which was, this was the last sketch. I'm gonna select it, press M to move. And then I'm just going to move somewhere right here where the lights will start. So the idea is to move it somewhere, maybe right here. Okay. Now we can go to the solid, we select this circle, we extrude this inside. Let's say somewhere until here. Okay, now we have one more body. We can hide this sketch and then we do fillet this body. Let's give it some fillet. Oops, too much. Somewhere like that. Okay. I press M to move, let's say this body, a little bit away, so that we can close this hole. Let me see now. Okay, looking good. I hit OK. So that's going to be our first part. Let's make a shell. So I just click right here and I click right here on the shell. And I'm just making shell. So how thick is the glass? Let's say that much is enough. Okay. Then. It looks like a little bit too much, but it's okay for the training purposes. Then we will have to insert mm, a sphere. Let's call it that way. So from create drop down menu, I choose sphere. Uh, let's say right here. And then how big our sphere is going, going to be. That's, that's our basically bulb, lump bulb. <laughs> okay. Then I click on the sphere, edit, uh, sorry, uh, move copy. And I just drag it inside a little bit, somehow like that. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. And then we will have to make like a patch over here. So I'm coming back to the surface, create patch and let's make it like that. Okay. So that's it. We have a lamp. Let's try to make the same on the other side. Let's go to solid features, objects this, this on the other side. Okay, then we go to surface, modify split body, let's say this, splitting tool will be this. Okay, so now let's hide all the bodies right here and let's just delete those faces. See, sometimes you just have to use a different way Okay, so now we have our front lights, which looks pretty funny right now, and the uh, tail lights, yeah. But uh, when we go to render, okay, now we're in render environment. Uh, you can see I was practicing with some lights already there. So then we choose appearance. And from glass right here, textured glass and these glass lines. So we apply it right here and we apply that right here. So this is our kind of glass lines for the car. Let's apply at the back also. 
glass lines hop and glass lines right here so now you can see we have kind of glass lines let's try to apply some colors so i just in search i just type led so let's put eight lumen in the front so i just switch off mm. so eight lumens right here apply to this body then i switch off this body and i apply right here and as you can see when we press render in canvas it's showing us some kind of light then later on we will do all the setups so that maybe we can adjust a little bit more the brightness of the actual lamp oh that's well, way too much but that's the idea for the lamps on the old cars so let's go to the back and uh, at the back ooh. so we're going to hide this body and this one and now we will have to apply two faces and just drag and drop on those faces led lights so we we'll switch on back our lights then right here in this design yeah uh, basically that's all what we have in our design right now we can right click edit and right here we have some um, settings so we just choose let's say glass and we make it slightly rough maybe a little bit more maybe somehow like this scale that's how wide will be these lines in a glass so let's say like a real car somehow like this so i choose edit and then we choose absorption distance let's make it less let's make this index slightly less preferably i think to do that all with the in canvas render so we edit let's see what will happen if we put two here one one is good and what will happen if we put two right here let's put it 10 so that we see the actual difference 10 doesn't make much Okay, I like this. So now we're going to our LED and let's make it, you see, it's like candles per square meter. Like that's how they measure these lights. So let's make it slightly brighter, 200 per square meter. Let's make it 300. Let's make it 400. Okay, now we can press done. We can play with it as long as we want, but for the sake of tutorial, I'm just making it fast. But of course, I will adjust so that it looks just perfectly. So the front lights we can make slightly yellow. Yellowish light that tells us that there are old bulbs, you know, original ones. <laughs> so let's see how it looks with different renders. I will just render a few pictures and then I will put it like, you know, by the end of this video so that you guys can see. But I think this is quite good enough. So in the next video, we're going to start making windows so that uh, finally we're going to have our car looking like a car. And then later on, we're going to make all the details and uh, I think those wheels have to be changed. Uh, you know, I made it just super fast, maybe somewhere in between. I will release quick time lapse. How did I make the other wheels, you know, but I'm going to use the same technique like in the lesson number two of this tutorial. So let's go back to our design. So that's our design. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. So basically that's how you make lamps and uh, I would say the front lamps doesn't look good enough, not good enough for me, no. <laughs> so we're gonna make them slightly different, maybe later on, but uh, that's one of the techniques how to make such a lamp. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.